One of my favorite parts of St. Faustina's Diary is number 628. And in 628, this sister in St. Faustina's convent comes up to St. Faustina and she asks her, can you pray to the Lord Jesus for me to see if my past confessions uh, have been valid, if they're good, or am I still stuck in my sins? Um, and, you know, St. Faustina kind of argues with the sister. She tells the sister, like, ask the priest, like, you know, uh, you know, they, just listen to what they have to tell you. And, like, the sister persists. And she asks St. Faustina, like, no, just do it. Just please ask the Lord. And finally, St. Faustina relents, and she asks the Lord Jesus, like, has this sister's past confessions been valid? And, and the Lord replies to her with these beautiful words that I think, like, hit us right in the heart. And the words that Jesus says about the sister are this, tell her that her disbelief wounds my heart more than the sins she committed. Tell her that her disbelief wounds my heart more than the sins she committed. You know, it's so easy sometimes to think that God can, you know, forgive this person or that person or to know objectively, like, yeah, God loves everybody and God can forgive anybody of anything. But that kind of lower part of our fallen nature, that even subtle expression of pride, that somehow something we've done is beyond the capacity of what God can forgive or, or how God can act. Uh, it's such a subtle and diabolical form of pride, how uh, that lack of confidence uh, hurts God even more than our sins. Um, you know, I, I think it's a kind of beautiful little testimony as well for like, you know, that sin or that, that temptation to scrupulosity, you know, to be spiritually obsessive compulsive and, and look for sin uh, when it's not there. And you know, this is different than like going to confession and intentionally leaving something out. That's something different. But you know, to go to confession, to do the best we can, to be as honest as we can, and then to walk away thinking that like the Lord has not forgiven us or he's not capable of forgiving us or you know, somehow we haven't been perfect enough for him uh, to be able to forgive us. Uh, you know, that's a completely different story altogether. So you know, if we're ever feeling like that, you know, that, that confidence uh, in God's mercy, not just kind of a nice thing, but really in a sense, like our duty and our obligation and, and in that, place where we really find true peace. God bless you.